So today I'm going to show you what a real nature aquarium looks like. Now, I'm not making this video to trash on aquascaped videos. I mean, obviously these are just beautiful works of art, right? But tanks like these are just not nature aquariums. Uh, they are, like I said, beautiful works of art, but definitely not nature aquariums. I don't know of anywhere where you could go in nature and see a tank like this. More often than not, you're gonna see a tank like mine, an actual nature aquarium. So let's go take a look. So this right here to me is a nature aquarium. I spent a lot of time out in the mountains and lakes and rivers and hiking. And I gotta tell you what, this is an accurate representation of nature to me. Now we can look at the top here. We've got algae just growing everywhere. Now this is filamentaceous algae. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it's filament algae. And a lot of people get this confused with blue-green algae, and it is definitely not. So if we were to get close, if you look right here, you can see the filaments in there. Now I used to think this was Otogodium algae, but the uh, filaments aren't long enough for that. So now, honestly, I don't know the exact type of filament algae, but that's not really important anyways. Now the cool thing about a tank like this, to me, I love, you guys know I love algae. If you spent any time on my channel, you absolutely know I love algae. And a tank like this is exactly why. So you can sit here and stare at this tank and there's really, there's not a lot going on, right? You just, it's just a whole lot of mess. However, if you get in closer and start to take a closer look, you can see that there's actually a lot going on in here. Now, we're not gonna get a close, close look. Like, if we were actually to take a microscope to this tank, we would see so many organisms. But just watch as I drop some food in here, and you'll see how many fry are gonna come out. So there's a fry right there. There's the adult. Now, these are tequila goodyids, and there is so many fry, and they are scattered all throughout this tank. So I can already see three. Uh, there's some over here, too. I don't know if you're able to pick that up, but what they do is they just come out here, they grab a chunk, and then they dart back into the algae. So, yep, they're starting to get a clue what's going on here. There is a lot of life in this tank, and so, to me, kind of the enjoyment of this is the longer I look at this, the more cool things I can see. There's actually shrimp in here as well, and sometimes you can see them be bopping around on the surface. Uh, right on top of this algae, it's kind of neat. It's really fun to look at. There we have the pair. There's actually a trio of adults in here. Now there's so many benefits of algae for fish tanks, even for humans, like even for us, if we were to properly, now don't just grab algae out of your tank and start eating it, but if you properly prepared this algae, I mean, you'd get, it's a complete protein for one. So you'd have a great source of protein, potassium, iron, magnesium, calcium, uh, iodine. That's more specifically a marine algae, but uh, yeah, it's been proven to help normalize blood sugar, um, gosh, what else, repair nerve tissue, um, boost your immune system, all kinds of stuff, and that's just for us. Imagine how much it's helping these fish out here. Now, the other really cool thing about this algae, and what I'm looking at here versus what is showing up here on the camera is completely different, but you see like this yellow patch right here, there's some yellowing going on here, it's a lot more yellow again in person than on camera, this right here. That means there's no need for me to test this water for nitrates. Uh, when this filamentaceous algae starts going kind of yellowish and brownish, uh, it's doing that because there's a lack of nitrates in the water, which as fish keepers, that's kind of what we're going for, right? We don't want a lot of nitrates in the water because it's not good for our fish. This also uh, sucks up ammonia as well and nitrite, but uh, definitely ammonia. This stuff just gobbles up ammonia. And we can see here, definitely filament algae right not blue green algae blue green algae is also going to have like a distinct smell it, it smells really bad so it's easy to know the difference if you just stick your nose in there it's also lifting up all this duckweed and killing it off too which is kind of nice these big air bubbles that's the other thing this type of algae creates so much oxygen you can see it bubbling up here especially right here look at this chunk right here if you want highly oxygenated water, this is your stuff right here. I mean, this is one big air bubble. Crazy. I love this stuff. Well, how would I do? Did I convince you that my algae mess of a tank is cool? Probably not. But what if I told you that algae is also used in bioremediation, which is what they do in wastewater plants to take all the poop out of, the, out of your tap water? That's right. Algae is used to scrub poop out of your tap water. 
I mean, that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> but anyways, what's important to remember is that I enjoy the tank. It is my tank. It is made for my enjoyment. Let that be a lesson to you guys. Do your tanks the way you want to do them. Don't let anybody else tell you how to do your tanks. So I do have one more tank I want to show you, and I think this one's pretty cool too. And I'm guessing that a lot more of you people, you people, what do you mean you people? I think a lot more of you will enjoy this tank a little bit more than the algae tank. Well, probably a lot more because it's got a moss carpet. Didn't intend that to happen, but you know me, I just throw in plants and whatever thrives, thrives. And now I have a moss carpeted tank. Let's go take a look. So check this tank out. Here we have a 30 gallon long and as you can see the Java Moss has absolutely taken over here. It is just overpowering every single one of these plants which is kind of crazy. I never expected this to happen. It's actually the fastest growing plant in this tank. I, I, I don't get it. There's even Pogo Stemma Stellatus Octopus in here. It's growing faster than that. It's growing faster than the Hydrocaudal. Uh, just everything. It's crazy. Now there's another Goodyead in here. This is the Trout Goodyead. These are my favorite of the Goodyear species, as of now anyways, that could change. And then there's also a blue pearl shrimp in here. There's one right there. Now there's pothos up here, so that's where all these roots are coming from. But uh, yeah, this java moss is just crazy insane, growing insanely fast. This has been over the course of about maybe a month and a half all the way across. It used to just be over here, and then it just sat there. It was over here for like a year and then all of a sudden, boom, it's all the way across the bottom. Some kind of a steroid java moss here. If these guys ever spawn for me, it would give them a lot of places to hide, the fry, a lot of places for the fry to hide, and also a lot of places for the shrimp to hide. They picked off a good amount of them. There used to be just hundreds of them in here, but now there's not very many left. All right, there it is. I'm very curious to know, like I'm, I'm pretty sure that most Aquarist hate algae, but if there's anyone that loves algae like I do Please comment down below and let me know that I'm not completely insane that there are a few other Algeists out there. I, I don't know, but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed some of it I really hope you enjoyed my algae tank to be honest because it's awesome, but uh, yeah, thank you For watching and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe hit the like button blah 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 blah. I'll see you next time